Right people, um, I was requested to do this by a uh, YouTuber, the thing border that uses Final Cut Studio, just got a new Mac, just got Final Cut Studio, and wants to know the best render settings, or export settings, sorry, uh, for YouTube. So let's start, firstly, with a new project, I want to save the project as, um, let's call it, render, nope, sorry, export settings to... There's the... I don't even know. Final Cut Movies, save. Okay, now you want to go on to File, uh, Log and Transfer, if you have an ABC HD camera. Mine isn't plugged in at the minute. But it's Log and Transfer. Plug it in via USB, wait for it to recognise, your clip should come up. Uh, select the in and out points you need buttons here. Uh, I'll do another story on that later. But for me, I'm just going to import some Skate 3 Shizzle. So. Commentaries, gameplay vids, CHGP, montage clips. Uh, let's go through clips too. Let's use a C about 360 air walk. Awesome. With Final Cut Pro, um, if you match the settings, you won't have to render anything. If you don't have Final Cut Pro, you suck balls. Uh, for me, I've got to find the points where um, the clip starts because it's skate through. It's a bit glitchy though. I'll cut that out. So from here, uh, best way I think of doing it, press A to go back to selection, click on it, hold down shift and then backspace and then it will put the clip right at the beginning. It's just an awesome trick right there. And then we cut that. Alright. Oops. This is add a bit of colour correction just because I feel like it. I don't know. These my my way of doing it, except this time I'll turn the saturation up. Because the saturation's up, you want to have best of colours. I actually might just turn it down. Turn the blacks down a lot more, oh, not that much. Nowhere near that much. All the way up. Turn the saturation all the way up. Might as well. Sex trip. Okay, so we've got that clip. Now let's go on to the exporting. This is the bit everyone wants to know. What you want to do is go on to File, Export, using QuickTime Conversion. QuickTime Movie just doesn't work. Using QuickTime Conversion. Okay, you want to name your clip, uh, whenever I name this, just so I can delete it afterwards. Um, penis. Uh, you want to save it into whatever folder you want. For me, it's going to go on gameplay vids because it's a gameplay clip. Then, this is the main thing. Leave these two things the same. QuickTime Movie and Default Settings. If they're not on that, change it to that. And go on to Options. Settings. Okay, for the best quality, uh, from what I've found is H.264, put it up to best, and then turn the frame rate up. But I usually... Um, for all my videos, I usually export in H.264, high, okay, you need to change it to the else, and then size go down to HD, 1280 by 720, 16 by 9 click, enter, and then enter. That's one way of doing it. Another way is going on to options, settings, compression, MPEG-4. Turn it up to high, and that'll basically make it a smaller file. I use this for my Minecraft gameplays and gameplay videos because um, they take up much more space on my computer. Turn it on to high, OK, and for the size you want to change it to this 1280x720 HD. And that's pretty much it. You don't really need to mess around with the set with the sound settings or anything. Um, and yeah, and then you export that save and this will take a while to export so that's how you export a video um, in good quality HD widescreen on Final Cut Pro hope this helps and I will talk to you guys later